Hi, my name is Chris Mendoza and I'm a New York City based artist. Living in New York for quite a while. Toronto has always been part of my life, watching my father do blueprints for architecture in my country in Latin America. Moved to New York City in the early 80s, learning from my father about architecture and also he introduced me about abstract painting. Lead me to studies on my own, going to the library and everyday drawing and watching other people do art. As a child I seen a lot of people do murals and walls, visited many galleries and museums, as well as watching the New York City subways being painted. As a child I always thought of everything was all abstract painting. For many years my interest is mostly like you know color, architecture. I get a lot of inspiration through plants antennas, the whole cityscape of cities, you know, as well as music. I get a lot of inspiration through listening to many types of music, so like jazz, funk, early hip hop, especially from the 80s. I like reading a lot of books, so most of my work is based upon my studies of different civilizations, from different artists as well, different cultures, from the Mayan culture, the Aztecs, Egypt, hieroglyphics, petroglyphics. Moved for a while to Miami, Florida, and started kind of like taking art serious and started creating canvases with different mixed media from acrylic spray paint. I like the artwork of like Fra John Middall, Frank Lloyd Wright, Kandinsky, um, Roberto Mata, a lot of the early like Russian, you know abstract geometric painters. My daily habits pretty much is like listening to music. I view the city as a big tool in order to construct many structures. I like looking at vehicles moving, lamps, lights. Everything around the city is a big drawing. As far as for the show that I'm showing right now, it's basically like a big blueprint of what I really want to express the energy of the city. I've traveled a few times to Tokyo, Japan, and I've done many studies, and a lot of the pictography on my drawings and my carving, carvings, playboards, speak about like the motion and the line segmentation that I see every day, you know, as I walk in the streets. There's a lot of street art going on nowadays in every corner of the world. To me, the whole street is art itself, you know.